JBN, we keep you informed. I am Michelle Jones, and in the news, two many missing pieces of the puzzle in double murder of coach and woman. Please remember to subscribe, like, share, leave us a comment, and click the notification bell to receive our daily news items. Okay, people, right now I'm speaking with Mr. Okay. Nicholas Newville, who is a coach at Calabar High School, Red Hills Road, in Kingston. A Honda Civic motor car left abandoned at an open lot near Dawkins, Spen in Portmore, St. Catherine, was what arose the suspicions of a passing relative on Monday when Rahima Edwards did not come home Sunday night. The car looked similar too and later turned out to be that of Nicholas Newville's John Scotia Calabar High School and a close friend of Edwards. Both were found dead nearby with multiple gunshot wounds. Edwards lying on her back, wearing a white top and blue shorts, and Newville lying face down beside the car in a white top and the jeans shorts, apparently pulled halfway down. Edwards' mother had reportedly passed by the scene earlier, unbeknownst to her that it was her daughter, who she had not seen or heard from since Sunday night, that was lying dead in the open lot, which is used in the daytime for driving lessons and considered dangerous at nights when it is pitch black. Hours later and after much suspense, it was a family friend who gave the police at the scene information to contact the deceased woman's mother, Edwards, who resided in Passage Fort as a past student of Waterford High School, while Newville, a former Calabar student athlete turned coach, resides in nearby Waterford. Several persons who knew Newville well flocked to the crime scene, trying to piece together what some described as a Valentine's puzzle. This puzzling because of him care that it's not a gunman. Him coach Calabar in a good youth, one onlooker commented. How them families there go manage that? Knowing that it's on Valentine's night, this happen. This a mystery. Them carry them there as there it happen, added another. The person who identified Edwards said the car was spotted by someone on their way to work, who then alerted the family to check it out. Them see the car and said, all is a come to her. It's like it start to make sense. And then they closed them. I each leave the house in the last night. And her mother wait for her to come up the house. Her mother drove past and see the body and didn't even know it was her daughter, the family friend said. Newville's brother had to be consoled at the scene, having arrived in a fit of fury at seeing his sibling's body. He said that while he was unaware of pertinent details, something was not adding up. Newville, who is also called Greg, is said to be a hard worker and died leaving a daughter. A resident who resides in proximity to the lot said that he heard several loud explosions about 1 a.m. on Sunday. The bodies were first discovered about 5 a.m. The investigators collected several items which appeared to be of evidential value from the motor car. Investigations continue. JBN, we keep you informed. Please remember to subscribe, like, share, leave us a comment and click the notification bell to receive our daily news items.